so it's me Kiani. Today's video I'm back with another makeup tutorial and today we're going to be exploring how to do a smoky eye on eyelids that are a little bit more hmm, shall we say mature. So you guys know that I'll be hitting the age of 45 and I've honestly talked about this a little bit more on my Instagram. Just getting back into the vibe of applying a smoky eye using multiple shades that are a little bit more vivid takes a little bit more execution and strategy. So I created this look a few days ago for an interview that I had that will be coming up soon. And um, yeah, I just really loved how the look came out. But at the time that I was creating it, I kind of walked myself through it and thought about product placement, which is very, very important when you're applying eyeshadow, especially with a little bit more mature lid. So I'm going to talk you guys through the steps. I'm hoping you'll find this beneficial. And as an added bonus, make sure that you check the link in the description box. There are going to be tons of new coupon codes and discounts. So just in case that you're inspired to purchase something or you need a little bit more help on a tool or product, there will probably be a discount code listed down below. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video all the way through. I'm going to throw this video into voiceover and I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do and you enjoy videos like this from me, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also click that bell for post notifications so every time I upload, you will be notified. All right guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this smoky eye tutorial. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. You'll see that I've grabbed my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I'm going to dance between these two PG shades. One called Grateful and I believe I called, grabbed the other shade called Homebody. And I'm just gonna blend that directly into my concealer that's already on my lid. And you'll see in this clip that I am just really building that up on the inner V of the eye. And this is gonna serve me very, very well for the next shade that I'm about to grab because it's going to be definitely in your face. So the shade that I'm grabbing right now is called Crazy and it is very, very intense. And you'll see that I'm just packing that on the outer V of my eye. I think it's very, very important when you're starting to get more of a mature lid to actually mark the space of where you want the product to go. Once you lay the product down, then you can actually worry about blending it in, but trying to blend it and apply it at the same time doesn't necessarily go because again, with the mature lid, what you're having are um, the lids settle a little bit different. Sometimes you'll have more of a deep set eye. Sometimes you'll have an eye that has a little bit more puffiness. But all that really, really matters is once you're done applying the eyeshadow that they both look exactly alike. So the technique of packing the darkest shade on the outer V of my eye with my finger first allows me to go in with a clean brush and blend out after I'm done packing the shadow. You'll see that I'm going back into Grateful with that natural hair brush and I'm really really intensifying that on the inner V of my eye and what is left over I'm just flicking it into the outer V of that crazy shade and what happens it creates a beautiful transition and as you blend which the way that I blend with my mature lid is I really continue to tap the eyeshadow in so it really allows the concealer to become part of the color. You'll see that I'm going back in just to really, really cut my crease. And this is a great technique that is designed for you marking the eye space. So it's almost like considering a big eyeshadow eraser. So you're removing the color that you don't want, but you're also opening up the lid so you can see where you want more color to go. Or some people just leave it blank. It, either way, it's gonna turn out great. I'm going to settle the concealer in this look with the shade called um, Get Ready With Me. And then I'm going to do a nice marrying between Crazy and Get Ready With Me with a shade called Oh Hello. So you'll see a deep cranberry on the outer V. Then you'll see more of a red in the middle. And then we're going to go into a beautiful peach shade, which is a gradual um, transition of colors on the lid itself and not as much um, eyeshadow going up over the crease. All you're seeing is a gradual blend up over the crease. And if you apply the product very, very gradually and very precisely, then you're gonna get a beautiful blend from the eyebrow all the way down to the lid. Next, just because for kicks and giggles, I'm actually going to grab a little bit of the lip conditioner with um, my Lip Tricks collection and grab a little bit of Georgia Girl. And this is our peach glitter topper and you'll see that it has a little bit of a copper reflex to it super fine super pigmented and um, i'm definitely not worried about it going into my eye because they are finally finally milled 
You can find all my products at www.lipcricks.com. And uh, yeah, use the code Makeup by Kiani and get free shipping. You'll see that I'm going ahead and adding um, lash primer and mascara and a new set of lashes. And that look is really, really coming together. Now let's just go ahead and finalize the contour um, using just a bronzer all of the complexion products will also be linked down below there's a full complexion video that i just uploaded on youtube i want to say a few weeks ago and it will give you the full complexion look in detail and the products and coupon codes check the link in the description box but i am absolutely loving how this eyeshadow look came out and best of all i got it on camera for you guys and uh yeah i'm going to set all of this makeup magic finish the look off with a beautiful mauve pink again from my lip tricks collection but <laughs> yes do not forget your lower lash line because that is a part of your makeup look as well i typically do that after i use my setting spray so the shade that i'm using is called omg this is again from my heritage collection and lip tricks and i'm just going to turn the lip into more of a metallic with the shade called southern girl also available at liptricks.com what do you guys think i am absolutely loving 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 this look and hoping you guys are too and that's all we have for this tutorial make sure that you if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube page that you go ahead and click the link down below to subscribe to never miss another upload if you haven't followed me on all my social media you want to do that as well because that's where you see the behind the scenes of the looks that i'm going to be creating until next time guys thanks so much for watching hugs and kisses we'll talk to you soon bye